Algae. Fish Pond. Joja Cola. That was a good sleep. Why am I hungry? Why do I have a strange craving for algae? Probably because it's sleeping on your head. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess it is on my head. <laughs> How did I get there? I don't know. Howdy, Embers. Welcome back to the corner. My name is Heron. And I'm Gygus. And welcome back to Stardew Valley. Dear Heron, I saw an article about you in the local paper. It sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, Mom. But yeah, welcome to Stardew Valley, where our intros just progressively get more and more weird. Yay. What's up, Charlie? Charlie's the best. I love Charlie. What's your... F uh, we already got into this, but uh, your favorite kind of dog is a pug. Yep. Um... Do you remember what uh, what my dream breed is, so to speak? I don't remember, but uh, can you can you water my my crops? Sure. As uh, my I watering guess. can is being upgraded. I guess I can. All right. Uh, no, I I really want an Irish Wolfhound. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, I'm kind of I don't know what to really do today. We have two days left in the in the season, so I guess really just. It'll be a spring cleaning day. Yep. So just cleaning up the farms, uh, doing final crop work, and uh, saying hello to spouses and all the good things. Or potential spouses, I should say. Yep. Did I actually talk to Abigail twice this week? I don't know. I have. Okay. Because it is Saturday. Yep. So we'll be able to talk to them tomorrow. Which is great, because start of the season. Yep. I think... What do you think? Mining today? They're in good humor. Mm. Probably get some more uh, stuff done today. Maybe I do need to finish watering your crops. Yes, I appreciate that. Uh, I feel like I, I should get some cut of profit here because I, I am doing I, some work. I can get I can get you some I can give you some Georgia Cola to replace your your lost energy. How's all right, that? All right, that sounds good to me. Take the Georgia Cola. Drink the Georgia Cola. Drink, 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 drink. Oh, drink, uh, go drink, into, drink, drink. Uh, go into the uh, the cave uh, and get some fruit. Uh, you can use those as well for, uh, for some energy. Fruit? Oh, I guess they're, they're not in here today. Nope. Oh, well, that's fine. Where was I going to do things? Oh, Charlie is sleeping on my dead farm. All right. <laughs> Who has a sad farm now? That mine's been sad for a while. I don't know where you've been. <laughs> I thought about that while editing the last episode, because you, you made a comment about it. I'm like, dang it, I really wish I would have made that comment. And then now it just feels out of place. Yay! Where's my... Okay, yeah, my axe is still hanging out over there. Hello, Sebastian. Right, that's fine. What? I didn't hear you. I'm busy thinking about something. What are you thinking about? He's thinking about having fun. He doesn't know are how to... Are you kidding me, Sebastian? Sebastian's probably thinking about D&D. <laughs> In all fairness, he's probably thinking about what his next D&D &D session's gonna be about. Yeah, hey, I mean, that's fair. I mean... Back when we were playing consistently, I think that was your main forethought anytime you were alone, yeah? Pretty much. <laughs> Speaking of which, I actually will probably have some time to start getting more preparations on that. Because we do intend on having... We do intend... <laughs> You're still I, like grass! I, I, still, I, st I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I still smell like grass. Yay! No, I thought, I thought Jazz said that... Uh, I smell like grass the first time. Uh, so to be able to see that you smell like grass is amazing. What? Yeah, you're three hearts now, so you can actually enter a room. I'm only at two, though. Oh, maybe you just... I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm going to call it a win. <laughs> All right. To the lovely land of mine. I don't have an axe, so I am going to need you. Sounds good. In case there are logs. In case there are logs down in the mine. Hey, you never know. Trees can grow in weird places. That makes sense. <laughs> hey, more algae. Yay! This community center that we're not going to touch. All right. I feel good. <laughs> Correct. Sorry, random life thing. Um. <laughs> So I, I'm, I'm just kind of waiting for you. Sorry, I, I took the long way around. Uh, there you are. Okay. Uh, to Let's go, go see, to go see Haley. <laughs> All right, we're down to 65. All right. Uh, oh, 
Okay, uh, well, I found the exit. I also found one. That works. How did we end up at the same place? Uh, converging tunnels. All right, so, uh, story time here. All right. We can, we can talk. I don't think we've actually really talked about this specific, uh, thing on the channel. I've, I know it's, uh, been, like, kind of brought up vaguely. Mm hmm But, uh... Over the summer, uh, me, Heron, and my fiance decided to go on a on a little trip. Uh, <laughs> okay. Because... Oh, we're doing this story. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second. <laughs> well, there's very many things that we could talk about, but I decided this would be a good one to start with. All right, that's fair. <laughs> um, so yeah, we decided to all go on a uh, on a trip. Oh my gosh, mother! <laughs> I know for a fact that's being picked up in the microphone too. Omnigeod! Yay! <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, because me and my fiance, oh, found it, uh, have never actually been to a, a an amusement park. Uh, we've been to, uh, well, I've been to a water park, but, uh, we've never actually been to an amusement park, so. Yeah, and I don't think she had been to either, because we yeah. went to both an amusement park and a, uh, oh, uh, we went to both an amusement park and a, a, a water park, uh, kind of switching on and off as the week progressed. Yeah, so that, that was kind of our, our thing, so we decided to, uh. Uh, gather up a bunch of friends and uh, well, that was the goal. <laughs> spent spent uh, money on tickets that that ended up they not showing, but it's fine. We still had a good time. Yep. Um, as soon as we got there, however, oh, this was th this was like a five hour drive mm. uh, to um, to get to this location, and uh, as soon as we were done for the night. Uh, I think we had to go to a, a store to no, grab no, no, no. dinner. You're, uh, you're remembering this wrong. Um, what happened was, um, you, uh, we went to the first day perfectly fine and perfectly normal. The next, that night, however, um, you realized that you had not packed water shoes. And you wanted them for the water park the next day. No, I couldn't find water shoes. I, I was going to just buy them. Because oh, yeah, that's right. So we, uh, and I needed to get gas anyway because we hadn't filled up since uh, we drove out there. So what ended up happening was um, it was raining. So obviously I had my windshield wipers going and it was kind of loud because we had three people talking and the radio was on. Um, but I noticed this little squeaking sound and <laughs> it was kind of uh, like halfway through. And then when we got to the gas station to fill up, I decided to take a look at my windshield. Turns out one of my wiper blades had been stolen off of my car. <laughs> yep. It was it was just a very random inconvenience. It's just like you know that uh that whole thing of like uh you're you're the ro you're a robber but you only steal like the most inconvenient things. That was one of them. Yep, so I had to spend 20 bucks on a wiper blade that I didn't need to spend. <laughs> and it uh, left a permanent scratch on my windshield. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> uh, rest of that uh, that trip ended up pretty, pretty normal, as you would expect. Um, very hot. But, uh, yeah, but it was good because, I mean, we were at a water park and uh, we were We did end up getting, like, sick for one of the days because we were constantly doing something. Yeah, I overexerted myself on a... This a... was like a week's vacation. We set out an entire week to do this. Yeah, and it was... And we were doing something every day. It was a lot of fun. Um, It just was a lot for me, and I think uh, we weren't really eating the best. <laughs> well, I tried. I actually made some risotto. Which was delicious. But it didn't have any protein, and I didn't have any protein for like three days straight, and that just yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, we were we were very poor, and I was literally broke at the end of that trip. Yeah, because uh, we ran into a lot of situations where um, all of us kind of ran out of money, but Gigas had some stuff in savings, so well, we, had... we would have had more money if two of our friends didn't ditch us at the end of it. But yeah, stuff happens. And it's it's okay because now we know what to do if we want to take a vacation like that next time. Yep. Um, another thing is I was actually introduced. Well, it wasn't introduced, it. but like, uh, first Studio Ghibli movie I ever watched was during that vacation. You watched uh, three, including um my personal favorite, and hands down the best one in my personal opinion. Um, the first one we watched was Howl's Moving Castle, correct? Yes, it was Howl's Moving Castle. Hey, Master Slingshot. Uh, we should have enough time to get another five floors. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, uh, but yeah, so we watched the first, uh, every night we were there, we basically watched a different, um, Studio Ghibli movie. We watched, hey, nice. 
I keep, I'm get, I have really good luck today. <laughs> All right. I remember us watching uh, Princess Mononoke very late in the night, and I like, I think I fell asleep halfway through. You it. definitely did, and uh, I'm trying to remember. Ah, skeleton! <laughs> it's papyrus. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, did not want to die. Okay. Oh, uh, where was I talking about? So yeah, we uh, we watched uh, Hell's Moving Castle. Then we watched Spirited Away the next night. Then we watched... Um, Ponyo. No, we watched Ponyo the next morning. Um, yes, that was before we decided to go uh, to do our endeavors. No, 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 no. We actually... I'm remembering this completely wrong. We we waited to watch Ponyo till like the, ne uh, the day uh, we were leaving. Um, the next... Uh, we actually... We watched... I think it was after day two of the water park. Uh, we watched Princess Mononoke, and man, oh man, is that just a masterpiece of a film? Yep, it was. It was very good. I highly recommend everybody go watch it because it's full of some very good messages, and it's just a beautiful movie as well. Uh, all honestly, all Studio Ghibli movies are. Hey, there's some jade over here. Nice copper. I'm actually kind of surprised to see copper this far down. Hey, I'm gonna take it because I need copper. The more copy, the more copy. More the more copy. The more coffee. <laughs> I I en entirely expect you to to have a coffee farm. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? That I and I see you. That your entire farm is just gonna be coffee. Oh, probably at some point. I don't know what season is co our, our coffee beans. I. Or are they just year round? I don't know. I think it's summer. Uh, you did get a coffee bean, so you can probably see. We can risk it, or we can go home. We, we, we can risk it. All right. We, we got through that in like an hour and a half. I, I did get very lucky there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 15 in one day. That's really good, actually. I just want to get done with these mines as soon as possible, because I want to try the, I want to try the next set. <laughs> Whoa. I got some stuff here that I want to grab. Oh, what? What did you find? A cave Karat. Kakarot? Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh, carrot. Okay. <laughs> Karat. Now I understand. What is my luck today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I I don't know, but I'll take it. Frozen tier. All right. Uh, I mean that kind of that kind of leads into another. Uh... Oh, duh! This is iron. I need to be mining this. <laughs> I keep like not doing that. Um, just gonna leave. Kind of reminds me of another incident that happened. Uh, oh with no, I'm you going to, get... to the same place uh, that happened more recently. Actually, I, I'm starting to get exhausted. Uh, you have food, don't you? No, I don't. I ate it all. Uh, here, take this. Uh, did I just decline it? What? I didn't cancel the request. <laughs> Accept it. There you go. Now you have both of them. Uh, uh, you also have a uh, a winter berry, actually. Oh, shoot. It's uh, midnight. Oh, okay. I guess we're abandoning it. That's fine. How did time get away from us that quick? I told you it was like 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, but like two hours just passed in the blink of an eye. I wish we had the minecart open, because then we really could just be pushing it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, you were saying stories. Yeah, I was saying uh, that reminds me of another thing that happened more recently with you going to the same location. Uh, it was a different location. Uh, <laughs> well, same general area. Uh, no, it was about two hours out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, this was my birthday weekend. And I say unfortunately for a very specific reason. Um, while I was driving up to go uh, to my great aunt's uh, cabin uh, to meet up with my mom and my sister for my birthday weekend... Um, Back in February or late February, I um something very fortunate took place, and about halfway up through the drive, I actually um uh, so I drive a manual, and uh, I guess it was just it's time to go because uh, while I was about halfway through, um I got stuck in stop and go traffic, and stop and go traffic is never fun, but it's significantly worse if you're in a manual. <laughs> and what ended up happening was I I. Uh, because it was so cold, I couldn't tell if, like, it was just exhaust fumes that were around me or what. So I kind of just kept pushing my car. And um, eventually I started smelling burning. And I was just like, oh, that's not good. 
And then um, by the time I got through a very, very big tunnel, um, uh, I lost control of my clutch. <laughs> Yay, queen of sauce. Omelets. And I actually had to lose my... Um... Oh my gosh, I just remembered we forgot about our chickens. That's fine. I'm going to have to take care of them, aren't I? Probably. Oh, I do need to fill up the trail. It's wonderful. But yeah, so I burned out my clutch, and uh, then my car decided um, to just stop working. <laughs> like it, uh Like five minutes after I got out of the tunnel. And yeah, I got stuck there for like two hours because I had called my insurance company uh, to hopefully... Um, get some kind of uh of tow out there of tow truck out there obviously it was the weekend so that wasn't gonna happen and um so my dad had called um some family he had out in a nearby city and uh to see if uh, we could at least get me out of there but no i was stuck there for about another for like just two hours straight and then as soon as i got um as soon as uh, everything started cooling down and everything i needed a jump for my car because i guess it, the system just overloaded mm -hmm. um from that point forward, um, I had to drive the rest of the trip on a burnt clutch. So I was very, very careful the entire way through. I ended up making it. I had a pretty fantastic birthday weekend, uh, birthday. And um, then I, I finished, uh, we went to a couple of different places. Um, went to an escape room that was like Atlantis themed, which was a lot of fun. Um, and we ended up, uh, a very interesting thing is I've never been to an escape room. They are very fun and that's very unfortunate. <laughs> I want to. I really do. Oh, so that's how you freehand. All right, that's good to know. <laughs> um, but yeah. So as soon as I got over there, um, then I had uh, after that day, I uh, ensued. It was great because we finished up the day by um, uh, by going back to my uh, my great aunt's cabin, and uh, they had um, Directv. So we watched uh, what was playing, and uh, it was Mr. Deeds and Tag. So some pretty good movies. I was drinking some Guinness and some vodka. <laughs> I was having fun. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was just editing videos here. Yep. Sorry, bro. Well, no, you were working. Cause, I was uh, working and editing videos. Yeah, because otherwise you would have um you would have been there with me. <laughs> yep. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh the next day, um I had to drive another hour out to um a nearby auto shop that was um that finally told me they could work me in. And uh, so I, I drove on the burnt clutch after that. Obviously, I had to stop for gas beforehand. So I was really happy that we didn't have to do a jump in the middle of a gas station. Because if that goes wrong, um, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would have been really bad. Yeah, exactly. So I was very happy we didn't have to jump at that point. And then what ended up happening at that, I drove on the burnt clutch um, for the final hour, made it in time. They worked me in. I was at an auto shop for like seven, like six, seven hours. And then we finally figured out what was wrong, and, uh, yep, I burnt my clutch completely, warped my flywheel, beyond repair, actually, so they had to get a new one. But, on the bright side, um... I'm, I'm actually very sad now, because I, I guess I miscalculated. Uh -huh. I was supposed to get strawberries today, and... Oh, well. No strawberries, so I'm without money for next season. I which mean... Which is not good. I, I mean... I mean... <laughs> I'm kind of dirt poor. <laughs> this is not good. Um, I guess I know what the, I'm doing for the rest of the day then. You gonna fish? I'm gonna fish. I finally get it. Oh man. I also need to speak to Abigail. All right, that's fine. I guess I can take that. And of course, Abigail is with her mother. <laughs> well, on the bright side, um, my axe is ready. Uh, <laughs> and where was I with my story? So yeah, um, because my, uh, my car was, uh, in, in need of very big repairs and I couldn't drive back home on it. Uh, I couldn't drive it back home rather. Um, my mother ended up taking me back to her apartment for the night. Uh, we watched Elvis, which is a fantastic movie. I highly recommend everybody go watch it. Um, Tom Hanks does a fantastic job of, uh, of, um, of Colonel Parks there. And it's, it's just a fantastic movie, but, um, I'm also just a big fan of Elvis. Uh, but yeah, now then I ended up taking a train back home, which I hadn't been, I hadn't ridden a train since like I was six. <laughs> yeah, same here. 
So that was kind of fun. And you actually picked me up from that train, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, yeah, I... I drove, uh, or I didn't drive. I wish, I wish I could drive a train. That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Become I, a conductor. I was in a train, uh, in, uh, Galveston when I still lived in Texas. Uh, -huh. uh, uh Galveston is, has a very big, um, uh, train yard there. And they, they do rides and stuff all the time. Uh, fun fact, it, Galveston is one of the m most haunted towns, I believe, in America. That would not surprise me. Like, the entire me. town is haunted. Um, it's, uh, because, uh... Oh, what do I need for ammo? A uh, long time ago, there used to be a hurricane and nearly wiped out, like, the entire town. Oh, that's fun. Yep, so... Yep, little, little thing about that. <laughs> little history, I guess. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so... We... I guess we can safely say that we both had a very chaotic, uh, birthday experience this oh year. i should mention this um my I, I i do have my car back <laughs> <laughs> i didn't um, have to drive you over here a couple times for yes recordings. um and then you have to drive me to work one day it's fine i mean i spent what two years driving you out to school <laughs> yeah <it's laughs> and fine. to different events <laughs> and i still occasionally drive you around places that's when it's more so just convenient to carpool yeah I just think it's funny that even though you have a car now, I still end up driving between the two of us. I also have been driving the most often, so it only makes sense that I would drive. Yep. Or the longest, rather. Anyway, but yeah, no, I do have my car back. And they actually ended up getting my car back with me within like a week and a half, which was astounding because uh, there was a good chance it was going to be like a month. I didn't realize we fused screens. <laughs> God, hang on, hang on. I'm going to... Oh, no, we... I think we literally did just fuse the screen. Yeah, we did. Hang on, let me go back. I want to see if I can... Uh, like, right... Wait, go back. Go back a little. Down. No, no, no. I need you to be, like, right... Where was I? We fused the screen, like, perfectly. How did we do that? Was I up here? No, no, no. We... Okay, well, I I'm going to stop trying to recreate it because I ruined it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no. I have the car. They actually got it back to me in, like, a week and a half, which was really great because we were looking at um, it possibly taking about a month. Which would have just been horrible for a lot of reasons. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. I... We're working at it. I survived. The important thing is I survived, and my car is still in one piece. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, you're not the only one who had a very chaotic, uh, birthday experience. Um. It was very funny, because we were very, uh... We were on, um... I have a very, uh... I guess unique experience with my job because I um my my job is partnered with a college and so its schedule is entirely based around like a college schedule and so um my my birthday is in January so of course it falls in the winter break um and I was out of work for like two weeks um and of course one of the days that they asked me to come in was on my birthday for like a um i, I do catering so i had like a 300 person event that day which was great um started off very chaotic um was behind on getting everything set up which always is nice whenever you have people there because of course they're early um we had a lot of little kids running around, uh, throwing, uh, tablecloths everywhere. Um, there was, there was one little girl. <laughs> I knew you were going to talk about the lemonade incident. <laughs> there was one little girl. Uh, so we had this, like, this five-gallon container of lemonade, right? Mm. This little girl had to been, like, three, maybe oldest five. Constantly using our plastic cups and just filling up cups. And then pouring it out into the trash can. We had to re repeatedly tell them, like, tell her stop. You like, you can't do this. And she she would just go right back and, and do it. So we had like 20 gallons of lemonade that we blew through that day. <laughs> I I would be very curious to see like the uh, whoever was like paying for the event to be like we spent how much on lemonade <laughs> i mean that would have been my reaction 
but yeah, so that's only one of the things. Um, <laughs> later on in that night, um, we had uh, we had security guards because we have to we legally have to have security guards um, whenever we do bar because of liquor mm-hmm. and stuff like that to make sure people are drinking responsibly. They're not mm-hmm. they're not leaving the premise with alcohol. Um, one of the security guards got in a fight with another security guard's wife. <laughs> so the other security guard came in to um, back his wife up and they almost got in a fist fight. So that security guard was fired. My manager had to go in and was literally was yelling at the security guard. <laughs> Um, at this point, we were just my coworkers were just kind of like hysterically just laughing, like, "What the heck has been going on tonight?" <laughs> and then, not long after, there was a drunk fight in the parking garage. <laughs> All in one night. Meanwhile, you're just kind of chilling. Just- and the funny thing is, that that second fight happened was like we were we were I was we were literally talking each, with each other. Uh, well, like we guarantee something else is going to happen tonight, and then that happened right after. <laughs> so I was just like, you know what? I'm going to expect anything and everything at this point because we we've had like freaking people doing burnouts in the parking garage before. <laughs> On several occasions, it makes the entire like building smoky. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that that's not what happened. Um. The rest of that night was pretty much more the same, um, but it was when I got home, um, very close to where I live, there's a bridge, and I have to take that bridge to get to my house. So I go down this bridge, and then all of a sudden, this car goes flying past me, literally sparks coming out underneath the, the, the vehicle, right? Yeah, underneath the undercarriage. This guy is going like 90 miles an hour in a 40. <laughs> Coming off of a bridge. <laughs> yes. Like bobbing and weaving through traffic and then go like like runs a red light through an intersection. Luckily nobody was hit. But uh all of a sudden I just see the like these lights just uh turn on and just chase after this person. So I was just like, Yeah, I I would expect that today. I'm gonna pass out. Gotta go gotta go sleep. But yeah, that, that's what happened on Wait. my birthday. <laughs> yep. So, we both had very... I almost had in a car accident and almost got stranded. And <laughs> I almost got in a car accident because it was like five feet in front of me when it happened. <laughs> well, also having a really bad day at work right beforehand. It wasn't a bad day. It was just a very... Unfortunate day. Just random, weird day. Uh-huh. <laughs> Incidental day. Yeah. I guess that works. I tried to run through a bush and it didn't really work. <laughs> but, yep. So that that's that's things that that's happened in our life this year alone. Yep, we're what a way to start off 2024. Am I right? We're we're three months in. We are just about a quarter of the way through this year, and both of our birthdays <laughs> had some of the <laughs> had some of the worst things happen to us in succession. Not some of the worst things ever, but some of the worst things in succession. Yep. All right, I'm just going to sell literally everything I have at this point. Yeah, I just want my daffodils. I'm going to keep my daffodils. Yep, no more daffodils for you. Nope, I've got one more. Well, I'm, I'm just saying you can't get any more because it'll be summer. Oh, that's fine, because I've got eight of them. <laughs> All right, hopefully I made enough money. All right, while I'm thinking about this, I'm going to fill up my watering can. Good, Charlie. And then bedtime. Yay. Sleep. Yep. All right, you guys. And with that, we're going to call it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed listening to us talk about some unfortunate incidents. <laughs> Hopefully it made for good uh, story time stuff. Exactly. Um, Let us know what you want to see from the series and uh, check out our other stuff. Um, We have three other series going on right now. Um, We've got my Skyward Sword series. Um, You've got your Power World series. And then we also have Pikmin which we're doing a very unique playthrough uh, style on. So please uh, definitely go check this out. Uh, We'd really appreciate it. And um, yeah. Yeah, with that, um, we hope you guys all have a great day. And we'll see you in the next episode. Deuces.